This is the way it's done. Now hold your knife, place your thumb on the stem, the knife below, one hand. Yay! <laughs> Pat Hopper knows artichokes. All right, who's next? Come on, let's go harvest. Each year at the Castroville Artichoke Festival, she leads farm tours and shares her wealth of knowledge about a vegetable that remains for many a bit of a mystery. People really, really love it or they have no idea what it is and they want to know what do you do with it. You can do anything with artichokes. If you have an imagination, you can make any dish out of artichokes. It is just fun. Showing the fun side of artichokes is Pat Hopper's passion, but at Ocean Mist Farms, artichokes have been serious business since 1924. Right now we're in a field that's right off the coast. The temperatures here in the summertime rarely get over 65. The temperatures here in the wintertime rarely get below 32. This is really perfect artichoke growing weather. Ocean Mist is the largest grower of fresh artichokes in North America, with roughly 7,000 acres of both annual and perennial varieties. This particular field has been in the ground since last November. Our crews are experienced, skilled at what they're doing. They'll know, based on the size of the stem and the size of the artichoke, when it's ready to harvest. And so the crews will come through here, usually on a five-day rotation. In a field like this, we'll harvest it between 15 and, and 20 times a year. That's a lot of work, requiring coordination, skill, and stamina. As you can see, the harvesters now, they're coming this way out of the field. The bags on their backs are called canastas, and they're very fast. When is this? When is this? These bags are weighing uh, between 70 and 80 pounds. As they unload the, the bags onto the conveyor, finished product comes back out of here and then is stacked onto this, uh, this trailer that you see behind the harvest machine itself. The artichoke may look like a tough vegetable, but in fact, it's easily bruised. Packing in the field helps to minimize damage and preserve freshness. One of the main benefits to field packing is that the crop is, is packed into a box and then cooled within four hours here at Ocean Mist Farm. And so, you have fresher product going to our customers. Many of those customers may not realize that when they're eating an artichoke, they're actually eating a flower. In fact, they're eating a thistle. Look at this beautiful artichoke here. All this, all this yellow petal meat here is edible, so it's all the way up this artichoke. And if you were to leave this artichoke on the plant for an extended period of time, eventually the seed would be born here in the heart, which is the most nutritious part of the artichoke high in antioxidants, high in, in fiber, high in lots of uh, good vitamins. That's good to remember when you're dipping them in butter and mayonnaise. But what about other ways of enjoying this nutritional feast? Different sizes can be used and prepared in diff many different ways. I like to, to steam them, and then I like to grill them after they're steamed. And as Pat Hopper demonstrates for an avid audience at the festival, there are many other ways to get the most out of your artichokes. I sometimes save my artichoke stems. I'll cook them, peel them, and then put them in plastic bags, throw them in the freezer until you get enough to make something like cream of artichoke soup or for any recipe that calls for chopped artichoke hearts. So um, use your stems, don't throw them out. Pat says artichokes are so versatile, they even do well in the microwave. And she adds yet another item to their list of virtues. Everybody knows that artichokes are aphrodisiacs. Inside of everyone is love like you never had before.